here I've taken two medium sized oranges, wash them thoroughly under water and wipe them dry. Now I'm just pouring about one liter of water into a bowl. I'm going to warm this water up in my microwave. You can also warm it up on a gas stove. That is by boiling the water first and then adding it to the bowl. We want hot water. And now we're going to soak these oranges in this hot water for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now after 15 to 20 minutes, we're going to wipe them clean and set them aside. Then by taking a very sharp knife, we're going to cut off the top and the bottom of the orange. We're going to use it, so don't discard. We're going to use all of the peel of this orange. And then we're going to just cut it like this in the center. Don't go very deep. It shouldn't touch the orange, just the peel. And then you see that it comes off very, very easily. Now we're going to use the juice as well. And now we're going to do the same with the second orange. Just cut off the top. Cut off the bottom. Again, using a very sharp knife, just take it off. It's okay even if it breaks a little. You can just cut it in another center, another place like this. Just see that you get the entire peel intact. We are going to use the juice of the orange as well. Now here I've kept one liter of water to boil. Now while the water comes to a boil, I'm going to cut the oranges into half like this. And then using this juicer, I'm going to just take off as much juice as I can. Just squeeze the pulp and extract as much juice as you can. You should get at least about half to three-fourth of a cup of juice. So just press it onto the glass like this. Or if you have a juicer, uh, you can use that as well. Just try to get a half a glass of juice. And here you can see I have about ha almost half a cup of orange juice. Now our water has started to boil, so I'm going to add the peel and we're going to boil this for 10 whole minutes. Now you can put the flame off and in another bowl, I've taken again about one liter of cold water. I'm going to add some ice to it. And now I'm going to put this peel, which we have been boiling for about 10 to 3 minutes into this cold water. And now using a sharp knife, take out the white part of the peel very gently. Do it with all of the peels. cut it up in this manner you can either keep them full length or you can cut them into smaller pieces the choice is yours and with the rounds what you're going to do is you're going to cut around the center so we're not going to use the center part of the rounds of the orange like this we're going to get rid of that so just cut around it now here in my pan I'm going to add the orange juice and I'm going to add one cup of sugar and we're going to mix this till all of the sugar dissolves. And this we're going to cook on a low to medium heat till it starts to come to a boil. Now, if you want it to be extra strong, you can add some, uh, you know, shop store-bought uh, orange juice as well. Now, I'm going to add these peels and we're going to boil this on a very low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes till all of the peel absorbs this beautiful orange juice sugar syrup after that put off close uh, put off the heat and take this out onto a glass plate or a steel plate now you can leave them to this length also and uh, now it is going to keep this cover it and keep it for about two to three days at room temperature till it starts to harden up i've just changed the plate and you can see that it now has got this lovely orange sugar coating on it. And it also doesn't stick to the pan anymore. So we're going to keep this covered for another total. I kept it covered for about four days in total. You can keep it for longer. Basically, we just want the 
peel to get nicely coated with this uh, uh, you know orange and sugar syrup and harden up a bit and then all you have to do is you can either chop it up into smaller pieces or you can keep them as it is now this peel can be added to an orange cake it's in place of a you know a tutti frutti so this is a kind of an orange tutti frutti which you can add to your cupcakes or you can add it to your cake and uh, it just enhances the flavor i have put up a recipe for an orange cake i will leave a link to that too see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever i put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same so on that note i'll say bye and i'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think This is Akshita saying bye take care stay healthy stay fit be kind and loving to one another so till we meet again bye